welcome to Rick's Reloading Bench. My name is Dean, and as you saw in the previous video, we did the unboxing of all of my equipment, as you can see. I wanted to take the progression of from the unboxing, the equipment, and kind of how to start. Uh, this video is really designed for beginners like myself and the starting of the process of your reloading, uh, which I, I, I can't stress enough how fascinating it is. Anyways, let's get to the bench. Um, I built a bench, as you can see. Simply went to Home Depot and Lowe's, one of your local hardware stores. I got myself uh, just some kind of cheap wood, actually. Uh, bought some polyurethane. It was polyurethane and stain in one coat. I would suggest it just makes it easier to do this process. It's always good for your bench top to have a clean surface as you're dealing with powders and bullets and so forth. That way you don't get any contamination into your reloading itself. Now, as far as the bench, I did this. I also just did a backer board, stained it with the same stain, and then also put up some of the basic tools to start off with that you will have yourself, you know, uh, your calipers, your primer, your primer reloaders, all of that. What I did on my bench is I set up basically two stations. In the middle, of course, is your Hornady lock and load single stage um, press. Also, I bought from the hardware store one of these little um, just portable flashlights, bolted it, now we've got light. I suggest doing that because unless you've got really good overhead light, this is a really good tip that I learned actually from Rick and a few other reloaders to have some light in there. It just so you can keep track of everything a little bit better and see everything. What I did on my bench is, as you saw from the unboxing, all the equipment that I got, I started first, as I said, in the middle with my press. Off to the left, a powder dispenser. This is a Hornady with an RCBS stand. I just painted the stand so it matched. You can do whatever you want to do. Uh, this will be your powder reloader uh, for your rounds. We're going to do in a later video how to set this up, how to dial in uh, the drop, everything. That way, if you do get it and set it up, there'll be a video that we do with uh, Rick explaining exactly how to do this process. Secondly, I bought myself, it's not a necessity, but I really wanted it for my precision loads. I bought the Hornady um, automatic weigh station and dispenser. At a later video, we're going to go through this, the setup, how to operate it, and what exactly it does. This is a great device for a lot of um, precise measuring. You can do it yourself with a powder loader and also a trickler, if you would like. For me, I just wanted both. That was me. Also, what they included in that kit that I did the unboxing was this little Hornady portable scale. This is a really great device for second weighing your loads. Uh, when we get into it in the, in later, just on safety, is not only to dispense your loads, weigh them, but this can do a, some spot checking on your loads to make sure you're not double charging, uh, you're not undercharging so you cause squibs and things like that. This is really a great tool. Off to the right side of my bench, obviously you need your Handbook of uh, reloading for your recipes. Off to the right side of our bench, I created a case prep center. First, I've got my case trimmer. As most rifle loads, you're going to have to trim your cases as they expand. Um, with your pistol loads, probably not, but you're going to need a case trimmer. Also, your tray to hold your uh, to hold your brass. What I did also that I learned from some reloaders is I got uh, a vise for the bench because this can swivel. I'm going to mount this on a 2x4 and put it here so I can do my case trimming when I'm done. Just put it away. Uh, a friend of mine, Lou, taught me that. So I ended up getting just from Harbor Freight a little 4.5 uh, inch vise that can be rotated. You can flip it around. You can work on, your, on, on all of your stuff. Uh, that's really great to have. And also, I bought a sonic cleaner so to clean all of my loads. And most importantly, because I'm getting older and I think going blind, I got myself from the art store for $30 one of these lamps with the magnifiers on it. What is great about this is for brass inspection, you can simply hold it here and inspect your brass inside and out and get a better view on it because case prep is very essential for not only safety but also the proper loading of all your uh, of your reloads. So I got this to help me just to see it better, to inspect my brass for cracks 
or any deviations and things like that. So uh, I'm using only the utmost best brass for reloading. Uh, that's the progression of my bench so far. Uh, I did put a top shelf here to hold all of my dies and, and so forth. And in a later video, me and Rick are going to go through a color coding system uh, for these different tools. But anyways, this is my bench. This is now <laughs> Dean's reloading bench here. And along with, uh, along with Rick's help, uh, this is a progression and really the video uh, to start. So thank you for your time and uh, happy reloading.